we're back. Uh, the first episode of season two. Season two. They let us have a season two. I know. It's it's actually pretty impressive. It's like Firefly didn't get one, but we get one. Exactly. So, we did a breakaway. They didn't kick us out of that. They didn't. They didn't kick us out. We That's have... actually why I, I, I keep my larger figure. It's harder to remove me from places. So it's fun times. On TikTok, our Coca-Cola challenge has over 20,000 views almost. Good heavens. That. Really? Man. I, I think that makes us like TikTok famous. We could be TikTok. Man. I mean, it's... What I, happens I if we get TikTok videos. famous? I, I don't know. You won't be seeing us again. I know. You, you'll be seeing us, but not yeah, in this setting. Exactly. It'll be definitely somewhere different. So my office will be at the beach. So it'll like be a fun it. time. I like it. California. I like it. Red Skyline. Yeah, I tell you. So we have an exciting <laughs> season planned uh, for you. I'm going to stop shaking the table. We have an exciting season planned for you. Uh, we have some, we're going to do some fun challenges. Yeah. We're going to do some fun stuff towards the middle and towards the end. I have something. A couple special guest appearances. Yeah, special guest mind. appearances. Yep. Uh, but first, um, we're going to talk about some serious stuff. We're going to talk about some not so serious stuff. And one of the things that is all around us in our culture, um, that we have to deal with, uh, is what's in front of us. Three to four. My screen time last week was six hours and 20 minutes a day. Wow. I'm watching too much TikTok. I, I work from my phone, too, so yeah. I guess that probably kind of happens, you know? It's not all TikTok. No. Six hours on TikTok, that would be like you need to be checked in somewhere, probably. So, might need to, to, be to check you in. Might need to be checked <laughs> you won't in see somewhere. Patrick next episode. We'll have a new uh, co-host. Uh, he'll be working things out. So, so all of these things around us, we... Stop it, stop it, stop it. <laughs> My, that's the, that's the, I have the carpal tunnel. Yeah, carpal. Um, so all of these things around us, uh, we have this pathway, we have this gateway in our hands that lead us to so many bad things. This portal in our hands that we can, we can view beautiful things. I mean, I certainly, I can look at my hymnal every day. I can read the confessions every day. Uh, but if I just go on one other web page, I can be exposed to all kinds of terrible things. How are we to exist in a world uh, where we have this pathway, this portal um, to terrible things in our hands? I mean, the reality is it's easy to blame a device or something else for your transgressions, mm -hmm. your, your iniquities. I'm not going to do any more synonyms. But that's the thing is like, well, if I didn't have my phone, I wouldn't do this. Well, yeah, you would. Um, I was talking to my son about it. You know, he's 15. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm, don't worry, Lonnie, I'm not going to talk. <laughs> I named him. He's like, I knew it was me. Um, but I, I'm talking to him. I said, you know, when, when I was your age, I did not have a, a smartphone. Smartphones mm -hmm. weren't, uh, it's even cell phones. It was like the Zach Morris and if you're wondering, kids, who Zach Morris is, you go Google him. Zach Morris was the star of Saved, Saved by, by the, the Bell. bell right? Time out, you know. <laughs> Saved by the Bell. Uh, Mr. Belding and all that. But And uh, Kelly was the girl for him, you know. But it, it was like the Zach Morris, these big, big gray cell phones. I remember my first phone, my first cell phone my mama got me. Mama, mama got me when I was 17 years old because I started working at the movie theater and she wanted to know where I was. Mm -hmm. She wanted to feel safe. So she got me this, this huge phone and we'd have to go to Best Buy and buy a prepaid card. Oh, yeah. So then you get the card, you scratch off like the pin number on the back and you have to call on the phone and you add minutes to your phone. So every time you go down on minutes, so this is the, when you said six hours and something, my first card, this was for the whole month. 60 minutes. Yeah. So one hour for the phone yeah. for the entire month. And, and that, that was, and I still had minutes at the end mm -hmm. because I just didn't, it was something I didn't use. But did I still send? No, oh, Did course. I still have yeah. to? Yeah. Now I'm not saying that now it's made easier. Is there easier access with a smartphone? Yeah. Like for instance, if I was 17, when I was, not if, when I was, if I wanted to see something like pornography, which, you know, is not right. And neither of us are saying this is right. It's wrong. It's, it's wicked. Actually, pornography comes from the Greek word porneira, which means evil. So it's an evil thing. Um, but if I wanted to see pornography, I'd have to go into a gas station and get a magazine. So I'd have to go in front of people, mm -hmm. buy something. Or I'd have to watch it on a TV in my house, mm -hmm. which my mom could easily walk into the room if you've seen the opening of American Pie. Yep. Um, 
Or, or she's gonna she's gonna look at the satellite bill and know what you've been doing. Yeah, you know, or 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 something like that. And and the reality is, it, it's still something because there's something in me, and it's this something that all of us have, even though we're baptized, we still mm-hmm. have this. It's called concupiscence. Concu- and you always uh, have to. You always yeah, have I'll to, have you know every time he says that word, he you have to kind of touch yourself a little yep. bit, uh, at least in the like chest or tummy area. And the thing is, concupiscence is this wicked inclination, and we all have it. Before the flood, what did God say? God looked at man and said, all of the intentions of man's heart are evil all the time. Mm-hmm. Then he's like, all right, I'm going to kill everybody. But Noah and his wife and his three sons and their wives. I'll keep them alive. So eight people. And then after the flood, what happens is still these eight people. Yep. And what did the God then say? Man's intentions are always evil from his youth so he's always so even after the flood you have these eight people it's still the same yep this sin is still here so when you blame something like a phone and say this is the gateway this is the portal this is the problem you you're still talking about a fruit not the root of the problem which is you right you are the problem you're a sinner yeah. You're, you're one that's inclined toward, yeah, I can be reading this amazing or listening. Like I'm listening right now to this blog by Dr. Mays, who's at Fort Wayne, on meditation on scripture. It's on YouTube. But what can I then look at on the side of YouTube or are all these different videos? Yep. But it's not like the, the reality is I could still sin this way. Uh, going to a gym and seeing a woman in tight fitting clothes can be leading me to lust. So am I going to make every woman at. So now you've almost run into Islam. Mm hmm. Almost this, okay, you now have to have this so I don't sin. Mm-hmm. I'm going to put a burqa on you so I don't sin. Right. So, so instead of taking this. responsibility for our own sin and understanding that we, by nature, just like the confessions say, are sinful and unclean, we, we push it off on a device yeah. and make the device to blame for allowing us to access these things. And even best construction, those who, who blame the device would still say, no, it's we who are sinful. But, but the problem is if you talk too much about the device and not enough about the sin mm-hmm. of the individual, then it's like, okay, well, if I get rid of this, I'm, I'm safe. Right. The thing is you're never safe. Oh, certainly not. The yeah. devil prowls around like a roaring lion. Now, I made the point in my, my plenary that these things can be sinful. Mm-hmm. They can drain you like TikTok can, YouTube can, Instagram, Facebook. But even take um, Facebook. When, when I was in Madagascar one time, I was able to... Facebook video chat with my family back home, mm-hmm. you know, so I'm all the way over there thousands upon thousands of miles away and yet I'm able to yeah. talk to them. Um, churches use live streaming, uh, which uh, allows not to skip church, but someone who, who isn't able to get to yeah. church can go to it. The homebound, the sick. The reality is if I just, if I say the phone is the problem, then I've now given people this, this false security. That if you get rid of this, it's almost like cutting your hand off, gouging your eye out, you know, throw it into the fire. Well, then you, you have to just throw your entire self into the fire then because your entire self is the problem. Because sin existed before smartphones. Sin is going to exist after smartphones. Mm-hmm. And that's the reality. Yep. So, I mean, even radio. So should we only listen to KSBJ? KSBJ is our local Christian station that Patrick's a big fan of. He contributes every day to it. 10% tithe from his higher things, I know, goes to KSBJ. Um, you know, are you only going to listen to Christian radio? And even then, well, no, because that's decision theology. I only mm-hmm. listen to good hymnody. Um, you know, even... So, in the end, that's the biggest beef I have with anyone who says this is the problem. No, you are the problem. And your life, like Luther said, is daily repentance and forgiveness. Mm-hmm. So have your phone. Because it can be. Look at what we're doing right now. This gift of giving, sharing the word with each other. Discord, being able to talk with people that may live across the country that you can now have a conversation with about Mm -hmm. theology. You you Lutheran youth that are in the diaspora, dispersed throughout the nation, that, yeah, you may live in Fort Wayne, Indiana, or somewhere in Wisconsin where there's a billion Lutherans Mm -hmm. everywhere. Or you may live in Arkansas. Right. Or Utah. Sorry if you live in Arkansas. No yeah. Offense. Or let's say you live in Utah and all of your neighbors are Mormons. Mormons. Right. Hey, guess what? You can get on Discord or Facebook or do something. And now you're connected with these people. Yep. That believe the same thing you believe. You, you talk to someone. You met someone at Higher Things. 
you live in Texas, they live in North Carolina or Michigan. You're not going to, unless you're going to do pen pals, Yep. this is a great gift and it can be. But yes, safeguard yourself. Watch yourself. Mm -hmm. And when you do go on those sites, this is the reality. When you do look at those porn sites, and I think that's mainly the thing we're thinking about here. I mean, it could yeah. be violence or something like that. But I, mainly... I think violence, pornography, um, the the typical things that would cause us to stumble or, or cause us to sin when we look at them. But ultimately, I mean, when we if we're seeking those things out, they don't fall off the tree and just hit us. You no. know what I mean? Um, and we have to seek those things out. And if you're seeking those things out, there's something else that has happened. The phone did yeah. not cause you to do that. No. Nor did the internet. No. Either. And, and this is the thing, if you are struggling with it, and this is more practical, like let's say it is like, no, I have my phone in my bedroom and I have this temptation at night to look at something. Mm -hmm. Well, then keep your phone in the kitchen then. Yep. You know, or, or talk to your mom and dad and say, mom and dad, I'm struggling with this. Yeah. Your mom and dad, guess what? Your dad's been through it. Mm -hmm. Especially you young men, your dad's been through it. He knows what lust feels like. He knows yep. what it means. Or young ladies, your mom's been through it. They've been through this before. They were your age at one time. Mm -hmm. They know those feelings you have. Go talk to them about it and say, yeah, sure, I'll keep this for you. We'll keep it yep. at this time. Because even think, this is maybe this is the other key thing. Cell phones or smartphones in and of themselves are not the problem. The problem is, and this is the key, is being alone. And what I mean by this is look at uh, 2 Samuel 11, which is uh, David and Bathsheba. Mm -hmm. It says, all of the men of Israel were off to war except, except David. King David, yep. who sat on his rooftop. There's no smartphones around. Yep. You know, there's no TikTok. There's no... And he's um, still able to... There's no Vine. Baby. Yeah. There's no um, uh, porn Vine. sites. Oh. There's no Playboy and Hustler don't exist yet. Yeah. But... He still found a way to lust, and mm -hmm. not only lust, but then give in to it, yep. and then kill his brother. Yep. This is all before any technological thing. No AOL dial-ups even yet. You know, I looked that up, kids. It's a fun thing. <laughs> um, but the thing is, um, but what was the main sin with David? Is being alone. So here's the thing. If you are struggling with your smartphone, like you're doing stuff, don't spend that time alone then. But that smartphone can also be that connection to other people. Yep. But if you are struggling with it, like, I, I know I'm going to do this. Can you help me? Yeah, of course we can help you. Because guess what? Your parents probably have the same struggle. And it's not mm -hmm. a struggle that goes away. It's not like once you stop being an adolescent, you're done in your youth years. Right. Oh, lust is gone. No, it's something that endures. Yep. Be why? Because sin endures. Mm -hmm. So that's my other uh, guidance is as you go from Sunday to Sunday, because that's our big thing here. This phone is not the devil. The devil's the devil. Mm -hmm. Your sin is your sin. And you're walking this pilgrim path not on your own, but with your parents, with siblings if you have any, with your brothers and sisters in Christ, and with your pastor. So go to your pastor and confess it. You know, yeah, you may have been uh, for five hours watching Higher Things shorts. You know, Good Men or Leet Sauer, Sturz and Becker, or uh, who's, a, who's a couple more? You got uh, you got Ketchelmeyer with his, his big... Both. I, I need to get that, his big... Uh, what are those thingies that he wears? The big the big clerical collar. He's about to be in San Antonio. He is. Maybe I'm going to have to ask him where he gets yeah. his. If they have like a big and tall section for those, I'm all in. Yeah. Um, but the reality is, let's say you're watching those for hours on end. You're watching clips from the Higher Things Conference and reminiscing. And then you, you just happen. You go like, you know, yeah, I've been alone too long and I want to do this now. Mm -hmm. Yes, your pastor's there for private confession and absolution. Go talk to him and say, I did this. Yep. You know what he's going to say? You're forgiven. Yep. You're loved by God. And guess what? When Jesus died on the cross, he already knew you were going to do I this. I was going to be there. Yep. You knew he knew you were going to do this. He died for it already. It's you can't, as as Brother Goodman said, you can't undeath Jesus. You can't undo this sin, but the sin is drowned in Christ's blood. Yep. So let's not do the false security. Your security is only in Christ. So it's fun times. Thank God for that. Thank yeah, thank God for that. I tell you. That is today's episode. We have a super exciting season two plan. Uh, check us out, higherthings.org and our YouTube, Higher Things. Uh, beyond Reasonable Doubt, our 2023 conference season. Awesome. It's very exciting. We're super excited uh, here at Higher Things. Uh, check it out, beyondreasonabledoubt.org. We'll see you next week. Adios.